Hi guys of St. Clair Preservation Program Facebook group. I'm Simon from Italy and today I will show you how my St. Clair QL uh, can do many other things that you can think as emulation and multitask. This, these are important things because uh, Sinclair QL have, um, have got in the past uh, very uh, strong and powerful emula emulation programs that permit it to absolutely uh, run many programs of different machines. So, what I want to do and what I want to show, sorry, is that my new configuration is a Sinclair QL with a gold, super gold car as you can see a lightning ROM second edition and a Winnie drive Winchester hard drive, QR drive 40, sorry 40 mega, mm, megabytes so I've reformatted it no? I reformat my my Winnie, Winnie drive, and uh, I recreate, I, I create sorry <coughs> a new menu, totally different from the from the past, because I want only <coughs> some programs now, not so many games. Before are 100 titles, now are 20. But as you can see, are mostly utilities, emulators, and some game material. As chess, Kushan, no? <laughs> as you can see. Well, let's let's start. Ah, first, uh, first of all, <coughs> the Super Gold Cup have a twenty-four megahertz uh, processor. <coughs> so is the QL. <coughs> Sorry, the QL now. <coughs> the QL now is very fast. Is faster than before, and uh, most of all. <coughs> Sorry, the megabytes of RAM are now four and not one, as in the trump card. So <coughs> now we can run better many programs that are that was produced uh, after the first uh, life of the executor. So not in the eighties, but in the nineties. Okay. Well, now I would like, first of all, I would like to launch QTPI, that is my favorite terminal program, because I will show you the multitask operations of the Sinclair QL um, using this program too. Now I will connect my Bluetooth serial adapter so I can let communicate the QL with my other PC here uh, that is a Mac with a uh, um, Linux uh, emulated on a virtual machines and TCP server I can let the uh, Sinclair QL go to internet okay via Ethernet via BBS Sinclair BBS our BBS So, first, first of all, we will connect to our Sinclair BBS, that is Retro BBS, okay, BBS, point, Sinclair, point, sorry, point on PC, point it. Now the connection is ready, so we can absolutely connect on it. With the Super Gold card, the, the BBS is very fast, and 
we can go at uh, as you can see at 9600 baud so mostly fast for this test okay i will let my SyncRQL go to IRC and connect in the QL forum channel so when we will test other programs uh, I will uh, let the QL connected to the BB uh, to the sorry to the IRC channel so join channel QL forum And now we have an it. Ciao a tutti. All okay. We are live on Facebook now. So as you can see, there are Dilwin, the famous Dilwin, uh, Jan <coughs> Bredenbeek, that is the author of QL Time 2 on the Sinclair QL, and Rob, Rob Sora, uh, Sinclair BBS are, are us. So as we can go on with Ctrl C, we can go out, as you can see, this is the multitask, so I can return on the QTPI when I want, so I can make a new, and I'll run the boot again, okay, so we have the boot, QTPI, as you can see, and uh, now I would like to show you another program that can work with, um, together, no, uh, with QTPI. For example, mm, let me check. For example, I can test. Uh, I can test the spectrum emulator, spectator that works in multitask too. Wait a moment. That you have to. We have. We need to change the. The task for let him work in a lower solution so this is the spectrum as you can see and uh, we have spectrum the QL forum that is updated and again the boot okay so spectrum QL forum boot now we would like to check again so we will sorry mm, mm, i want to dear zeta 80 dear these are the titles that i have on the sub dear zeta 80 for the spectrum emulator so mm, would like to check um, a game that have um, a demo mode like Miss Pac-Man or Mr. Wimpy for example mm, or Decathlon mm. Mm. Sparkman. So Lord Slash so Miss Parkman and then this is Miss Parkman. Okay, that absolutely works as you can see. If I don't press nothing here, yeah, the game will go automatically in uh, uh, attract mode demo mode okay but we can 
stop it and go again in uh, the QL form, okay? Or reload the menu. So spectrum QL form and the is but I can go on. So for example we can run the ZX81 emulator. Okay, as you can see. So another one. Spectrum Internet Boot and ZX81. ZX81 that for launch a title uh, P okay um, for example mm, Madox okay for example Madox so, uh, if I remember well, sorry, because this the keyboard is different from the Spatch one, because this is an Italian QL, uh, QL board, so it's totally different. Um, sorry, it's totally different. Uh, don't remember if it's only the name. Yes. No. What? Mm, seems that it don't work. Let me check because these are this um, these files are new for me are new because our um, our new set of uh, point p files that I uh, download and uh, put it on my hard drive but I've not tested asteroid mm. Looper. Mm. So is Well, now I don't know why, but I don't remember the string for load the the game in the emulator. But as you can see, it's absolutely working. Ah, I remember that in the ZX81, the root device need to be changed. <laughs> is this the problem? So if the director is not P, the subdiv is not P, the emulator can't find the file no so the differences of um, zx81 emulator uh, instead of the spatch one is that the spatch one memorized the sub deal and so it can load the the file directly uh, every time i i run it uh, the zx81 emulator not i have to set every time the sub deal where the files are and now works as you can see this is Mazox uh, another great thing that uh, the simulator have that now is very fast so we need to absolutely set um, for example settings that screen reflect is uh, as you can see calibrated speed 
100% and we can also go in IRS mode and so the as you can see the the aspect ratio of the ZX81 is absolutely preserved no Okay, so now we have the DX81 spectrum that naturally works perfectly. Okay, TTPI that update when I go on it and on the task, and another time the boot, but we can go on. <laughs> we can go on. And for example, another program that can work uh, with it uh, that use that not use the same uh, RAM uh, RAM disk is, for example, uh, if I don't forget, so if I don't remember badly, and doubler our dumping program as you can see is a task and we can shift on it okay but we can go on and launch the HP ACP that is uh, our chivas control panel that is a program that zip files we can here for example Wrote win one, and we can see win one directly. No, okay. I don't have a mouse. I will use the cursors. These are my these are my subdivs. Okay, and we can go on a doubler, go on Azex, go on Miss Pacman. That we can also let's start. We can play with it as you can see. This emulator is not at 100% um, speed on Super Gold Card because it is a little slower than the original Spectrum. Uh, another emulator that I will show after from Argon is absolutely the best and works at more than 100% of the speed of the Sinclair that expected. As you can see, also the sounds are emulated. <laughs> the QR is great. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. And we can go on our QR forum group. We can go on menu. And we can go on HP. This is multitask, <laughs> preemptive, but multitask from 184. Okay, this is um, kudos ROM, eh? not a Minerva ROM or a um, or a SMSQA uh, ROM. As you can see, I can launch the jobs and you can see that the jobs are QTPI, the terminal, the ZX, the ZEDA modem protocol that is a protocol that I use for transfer files from PC and from Linux to to QL or QR to Linux or PC to Lin to PC to QL or QL to, to PC. Spectator is ah this is a QTPI clock because as you can see we also have the clock and 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 the, as you can see the clock is perfectly set are 10 now and my memory from 4 megs is 4 mega is 1 mega now because I've loaded many 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 programs now and uh, as you can see this is spectator extricator and a CP that is sorry for the beat 
uh, sorry for the big uh, characters but it's setting on the menu as you can see this is the jobs are spectrate spectator extricator uh, uh, acp and a and m doubler okay um, so one two three four five and seven not bad <laughs> not bad as you can see but i can also tr start the net safe that is a very good uh, backup program that compress and uh, um, make a, a backup of my wind drive set the clock perfect and so as you can see this is a window okay free memory are now less than before but we can one, go one, on one, two, three, four, five, six, the path always change, six, seven. As you can see, the, as you can see, the, the cap program is in a, in, is, um, on a window no and so the task that is under is visible on this uh, window so it's very nice to see no that we can make it no i would like to try another program that is qtrans i don't remember if it used the same uh, ram no okay so it works as you can see qtrans of dilwin dilwin that is now on the QTPI, so deal win. We are show, we are showing online some of your QL programs too. We are in direct with the A author. Okay, so it's very incredible now the technology and, and incredible is the Sinclair QL that is like a PC, practically. Let me see if Dilwin is uh, online, Dilwin Kindle, okay. On multitask, uh, eight problems. Okay, so you will see the video online very soon. Okay, now and run boot. Okay, so now we have one, two trans that is a file transfer, no program. That permit that permit to to copy from subdirs or, or or the root files from Win One to others uh, devices like floppies, MDB, etc. It's like not on command. <laughs> this is the um, backup program. This is the zip program. Okay. This is the dump program. This is the ZX81 emulator. This is the Spectrum emulator. This is QTPI with Internet IRC channel. And this is my super basic again. I would, I would like to see the memory is echo. We are under memory. Uh, we have only uh, we have not so much memory so we can't go on with uh, loading other programs mm, i think that the multitask part is uh, is absolutely shown and uh, let me see if i can launch something else kushang but i don't know if can work uh, with the memory that we have 
so it's better to, to stop now and uh, let you show another thing okay this is the special regulator um, sto filmando tata dopo grazie dopo Sì, sì, dopo, grazie. Ok. Qui stanno... Dewin, I think, is going to, to see the video on direct. Ok, this is... Bizarre, sorry, the, the multitask. Ok. And now I would like to, to show you another red thing that I love of Sinclair QL, sorry. Okay. Stop the multitask part and pay attention and I will show you the QL that will emulate. Ta 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 Emulate ta 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 Emulate MS DOS version five, not four. That was the the version that conquered the. QL emulator, sorry, the MS DOS emulator for QL Conqueror, okay, as you can see. It was written for work on MDOS 4, but I let it work with MS DOS 5 because I have my old floppies and I installed it, okay. We can make beer and see. The, uh, I create um, a partition, sorry, um, image file of a 10 mega hard drive, okay, 10 megabytes hard drive um, on my QL Winnie drive. So I have 10 megabytes of um, MS DOS hard disk, okay. As you can see, if I make a check this kappa okay you can see that the um, the drive is 10 mega okay and the memory free is this one as you can see this one very very big and this emulator emulated EMS memory 2 so at uh, one megabyte of EMS memory 2 so we have uh, 700 kilos uh, byte free and and one mega of uh, um, expanded or, or extended memory as you can see here you can see the dates when I create their drive okay and the hour <laughs> because I have the clock with the battery on my super gold card so all files and all is created with real um, real date stamp okay so let's go what I can show you for example uh, here I I put some games okay this is one that works not so fast but works okay as you can see uh, the conqueror emulator emulated the um, CGA graphics graphics in IRS graphics on the secret QL okay as you can see load runner that was from 1983 um, okay is working in color mode on the QL as you can see is not very very fast but works okay and uh, is playable okay this is uh, SGA graphics okay not 3D uh, so this emulator uh, can emulate CGI graphics 
text graphics at uh, com text graphics absolutely uh, independently because uh, we can only so, sorry we can also um, close terminate um, a DOS program okay or as you can see the resolution is changed because we have we are in another resolution that is um, the TGA one no so we have as you can see MS DOS in other resolution, but we can also make another thing that is better and is a start conqueror and reload the MS DOS. As you can see, it's very, very fast, it's more fast than a real PC to load the DOS or is fast like a PC. This is, um, there is also a um, serial emulation, sorry for that. This is also a serial emulation, so I can print on my SQL printer at the belt, as you can see, and serial one, so I can use on also my, my printer on, on DOS. Mm, another thing that I would like to let you show that is very interesting is not a commander. This is the version 2, it's not very fast to load, it's a program of 1993, this is not the, the first version of 186 that is very fast, but it's a single window and it can't zip, okay? This is the version 3 or 4, I think, uh, this is the, the first one or the second one that I use on my first uh, PC of 1992, okay? Uh, and it's perfect on the QR, uh, as you can see. This is not a commander. <laughs> as you can see, it's like on a PC. We can go with tab on, okay, on the DS of the uh, our drive, okay. And we can see the dates. We can go inside, okay. And I use the cursors of the.